thank you so much for checking out this video today. My name is Eric from Videolux.org and I pretty much talk about lifestyle here in this channel. Philippines based travel and lifestyle, what is great and sometimes not so great about living and working in this fabulous metropolis known as Metro Manila, Philippines. in BGC, Bonifacio Global City, one of Metro Manila's premier cities, one of the 16 cities that make up Metro Manila. I like to call this the working urban staycation vibe zone, and I was kind of making light of the fact that this is the grind. Keep in mind that you really only see the highlight reel here on the channel. I mean, you don't see what's not so great about living and working in Metro Manila, and there are times that I'm compelled to tell those stories and and I would love to be able to do so in a visual or video medium a format that isn't just me the talking head and what do you guys think what do you want to see here on the channel let me know oh, wait I know what yeah okay hold on let's see if we can uh-huh yeah the Philippines does definitely have its its perks I I, I have to say there are some fantastic elements to living here in the Philippines and I know that was a, oh God, gratuitous moment, but you know, bear with me. It's the Philippines, it's Manila, baby. It's like two in the morning and we had to come over to one of the corporate buildings here from work to get our annual medical, which is rather invasive, uh, at least in my perspective. She doesn't seem to think it's a big deal. I am lined up outside the corporate building here with my medical paperwork, waiting for the x-ray bus or truck. I would say my confidence level is not high. Something tells me that the radiation shielding on this uh, thing is not up to spec, but what can you do? You know, you want to work in the Philippines, this is the kind of stuff you just got to suck up. She's loving it. My comrade in arms here has reminded me that it is better to be able to come to a work facility and do the mobile x-ray bus than have to go to like a clinic on my own time. So yeah, I guess I'm on the clock right now. So that, that's one good thing about my forced blood giving medical wave the optional genital and stool sample uh, option here for the crazy medical uh, work permit stuff. So true value here in the Philippines is ridiculously overpriced for just about everything. And I happen to walk by and I look at this grill. Okay, this one's a gas grill, right? It's over a thousand dollars for that gas grill. So they have these charcoal grills over here too, which is what first caught my eye. Twelve thousand pesos. That's like two hundred and fifty dollars for that thing. It's a, like a cheesy charcoal grill. Some things are not more fun in the Philippines. It's an island at the brewery. favorite spots here in BGC. It's connected to the island, which is, you know, super millennial fat club action. And actually, this is a line to get into the island. It's uh, halfway down the block. So if you 
want the pumping, bumping spot in BGC, well, the island is the place to be. You can see how crazy gray and rainy it is here. Typhoon coming in just in time for December, messing everything up. Scheduled the train today from uh, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. because of the typhoon and traffic and nonsense and everyone being put out. Training got changed to 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that means they had to dismiss us at 4 p.m. today so we can be back in at 7 a.m. tomorrow. But we have to make up the four hours that we missed today. So that's 7 to 5 the rest of this week. And then the following week, who knows, I think it's going to be 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. for three weeks of hardcore training here in the Philippines. I mean, you want to work in the Philippines, you want to enjoy some of the perks, you kind of got to suck up some of the craziness too. When working on a BPO contract, you basically sign a contract and you agree to work any facility, any time, any shift, and on any line of business that they want to assign you. And I think you agree to do so within 24 hours notice. So it's not always more fun in the Philippines. All right, I am at the Shangri-La, which is a fancy hotel here in BGC. And we are gonna check out Samba, which is supposed to be, I don't know, a bar, steakhouse kind of place. We're meeting some of the, the, the peeps from the US clientele here tonight. The bar that we're meeting the guys at uh, is out here by the pool. Pretty cool. Here's the menu, and you have to unroll it. This is like an old pirate map or something. All right, this is the Antidote Jellyfish Bar. We're actually on the top deck here. It's one of the uh, swank, fat spots to catch a drink and check out an amazing sort of skyline here. <laughs> That's the slang from Hong Kong, baby. Ortigas. Which side is Mandalio? Benny's Falafel and Grill here in Poblacion, right across from the Gramercy, is open 24-7, man. Hummus, falafel, all the good stuff. It's, uh, it was our last stop after the, the bar hopping evening, which uh, pretty much did me in. Empire State Building of New G City here in Metro Manila, Philippines. As they say BGC is the New York of the Philippines. So one of the reasons why I really think Senior Polo is totally dope is because they offer two for one quesadillas. That's two quesadillas for like 200 pesos. That's that's not even four bucks. And they offer a happy hour from 5 p.m. to midnight. It's like uh, 45 pesos of beer. Really cold San Mig Pilsen's for less than a dollar a bottle. Can't beat it here in BGC. One of the things I really like about this uh, Vietnamese restaurant here in the Uptown Mall is that you can get these uh, banh mi sandwiches uh, for like, like 150 pesos. Uh, 
uh, chicken, vegetarian, beef, pork, whatever. It's, uh, it's a great deal. A great deal for a quick lunch or a dinner.